family and friends traveled from oceans away to celebrate the life of a North Highlands woman who was killed while trying to help someone else. Pasako had a very honorable death. She died saving someone she loved. Fusako Petrus died in April after she and her friend were attacked and beaten on the North Highlands High School track. Today, friends and family from as far away as Japan came to pay their respects and celebrate her life. Soft music and kind words filled the North Highlands Community Center. She was brave, incredibly brave. Dozens of people were in attendance to celebrate their dear friend who had passed on to another life. She was a steadfast friend who helped develop her extended United States family. Fusako Petrus was originally from Japan. She settled in North Highlands after her husband was stationed at McClellan Air Base. She was really an amazing person. The 86-year-old was known as a friendly face at the base exchange and an avid walker. Even people with simple lives can experience a huge amount of love. Friends say Petrus walked the track at North Highlands six days a week for decades. Most of us girls are here today missing her. The track where she spent most mornings is where she took her final breath. It's impossible to understand why in the world did this happen. Petrus was walking with a friend when police say the two were attacked and sexually assaulted. Petrus fought back, saving her friend, but losing her life in the process. There are very few of us who were ever called to save the life of a friend. But she did. Speaking through a translator, Petrus's niece, who traveled from Japan, shared a message of strength. I ask you to please carry with you my aunt's courage and the kindness that she exuded with others in her life. And expressed her gratitude for the North Highlands community. I'm so proud of my aunt, who is loved by each of you. Thank you so much for your support. 18-year-old Nevin Butler, a former Highlands High School football player, is charged with Petrus's death. He's in jail without bond and is due in court later this month.